What's up, Squirrelgers? It's Nerp here, and this is the weekly winners that everybody will see when release happens this Thursday. Um, yep, just four days until release. That is crazy. I can't even wrap my mind around that. I've been waiting for this for over a year. <laughs> um, yes, it's gonna be cool that all the new players will see. I have the number one badge, and today we're gonna do judgment. Um, probably my last judgment run before release. And I'll show the whole run today, just like I did last time, because it seems like people like that more, even though I can't do the commentary in real time, because then the video would be like two hours long. Well, I mean, it could be a short video if I like lose 2 nothing. But I'm planning on winning. Oh, yeah, also, before I get started, let me just explain. Um, a lot of people thought I was going to play in the Scrolls Guide Open, because I kind of talked that up uh, in a couple of videos earlier, setting I was going to play. But I actually was going to play, but... Uh, someone came up at other commitments on Sunday, which was the second half of the tournament, the final playoffs. So, um, not to be cocky or anything, but I was expecting to get there, and if I wasn't going to be able to play on that day, that would be that wouldn't that wouldn't look too good if I had to like pull out and uh, not be able to participate. So, but I still wanted to participate in the tournament. So, since I was free on Saturday, I decided to help stream it. So I was streaming half of the Saturday portion, so that was cool. And congratulations to Lahopa for winning that. I really wanted to at least have a chance at winning the um, Ducal Skirmisher art. But, oh well, I can't. I'm trying not to blame myself for not being able to do it, uh, because it wasn't my fault that I had other commitments. Alright, let's just get into this session draft now. Enough rambling. So, I... There's a Gravelock Elder, Gusty, and a Metal Wonder. Big, strong things on this row, but then the others don't have much. There's a Gunado and a Gravelock Elder. It's probably the thing that looks the best so far. And there is a Heart's Disciple, the best creature on this row, so I guess I'll take that. Um, Quake, a Wings Captain, a Fulmination Conduit. Uh, I could take Gusty and Quake. I could go with the Elder. I think I'll just go with the Elder. Um, there's a solid creature for 5 cost. Uh, let me have some order now. Wings Captain, Wings Charger isn't too bad. Here I'll take the Gun Automaton. Uh, and there's a Snorkel Hunter and a Slayer Siege. So it looks like we have decent energy stuff. Um, no growth stuff, so I guess I'll take the Wings Captain. I could take the Fulmination Conduit, but that's just not good enough to justify it over a Wings Captain as the fourth pick of the draft. So I'll take that. We have, we have some order stuff too. This is going to be interesting. I'll take the Wings Charger here. Now we have more decay, I mean, uh, energy stuff here, he's good. Here I'll take the Snarl Hunter. Now we have Pother and Duke Gumtrain are both good. Um, we have three or three under creatures, two order creatures. This row I can take an energy creature. This row I can take an order creature. So we actually are going to have the same number of... Do I take Stone Enigma or Ducal? I think I should take the Ducal. Stone Enigma is, I mean, the chances of my opponent playing the Lingering Spell aren't that high, so I, I'll, yeah, I'll take the Duke Limitron. Obviously better than the Wing Spear and the Fatal Strife. Uh, hmm. Here I got not really stuff that I really want. I'll take the Hired Marksman instead of the New Orders. We still have to stay in energy in case it points to that, like there's a Replicaton here. Here I'll take the... Ducal Infantryman. Um, Tick Bomb is decent. I don't know. Tethered Recruit. Honorable General or Siege Trigger. Tough choices. Tough choices, guys. Tick Bomb. And a Ducal Skirmisher. That may be the deciding factor, the Ducal Skirmisher. To get one of the Skirmishers. See, this is the art I wanted to get. <laughs> okay. So, General Infiltrate Skirmisher, I think, is good. Yeah, this is the deciding couple of rows that puts me into more order than energy. But then I have energy stuff now, but I mean, Heritage is still decent for order. Ether Pump 2, but then there's Purification. Uh, here, what are we looking at? We have 7 order scrolls, five, 6 energy scrolls, 6 order creatures, 5 energy creatures. I mean, our order curve, I have 2 drops, I don't have any 3 drops, I have 4 drops, 5 drop, and a 6 drop. Yeah, I like... 
I like going into higher resources in one faction in Jilshin. That usually is pretty good because you have a lot of beefy creatures. And I might need a heritage to get there. So I'll take this. I have Locking Brew that could work well with the Gravelock Elder. Nah, we're taking the heritage. And another Ducal and Fisherman, that's good. Um, I still might be an energy, so I guess I'll take the Ether Pump. Um, I don't have any structures besides the Ether Pump. I'll just take the Purification that could get rid of uh, a bad enchantment for me or stop an opponent's good enchantment. So I'll take the Purification. Another Ducal and Fisherman. Hmm. And we added some good energy stuff here. Stormrunner is amazing. Uh, I don't know. Straight finger. Uh, I could, I could be looking to have a decay splash, uneasy alliance, and languid. That wouldn't be too bad. Do I want to give up my energy right now? Do I want to put my, put my strength in order? My order stuff does look pretty good. Let's do it. We're taking the uneasy lines over the storm runner. That could come back to bite us. <sighs> yeah, there's metal water here. Um, binary root could be cool to splash, but soldier's bond will help me get into splashing stuff like uneasy lines. So I'll take the soldier's bond. Uh, and now desert memorial increases energy. This will help me become an uh, order energy. But I don't think I go high into both resources, kind of. So I think I'd rather take the Languor or the Metempsychosis. Nothing in my deck would really benefit from use from using Metempsychosis on it. Besides maybe the it's like another purification or it could get me more more uh no not even that guy doesn't get order when he comes into play. Alright, I'll take the Languid. Uh Faith. Alright, then we have a strong energy creature here, but the Gallant Defender is fine. Faith Blessing, probably won't need it, but I'll take it anyways. Wicked Being, Gallant Defender, alright, Night Scholar's nice. So is Kabanka, I want another another creature. I'll take the Power Bound that could help me get up. Uh, Myra Shambler, I'm going a little bit into Decay, so I'll grab that. Uh, the Crossman, that's my first one drop. But, oh, don't the Ducal Skirmisher, yeah, I think I made a good choice with Order here. So crossbowman, Kamaka crossbowman. How many creatures do we have? Ten. I'm gonna take the other creature. I think it's just better to have more creatures. Uh, and then the Ducal skirmisher, blessing of haste. That's awesome. And a storm knight and a righteous parson. Beautiful. I'll take another power bound. What a K. All right, this is good. Uh, yeah, blessing of haste is way too valuable, especially with my general. Faith Duty. If I can get a Pilgrim Street, that would be good. Faith Duty, Pilgrim Feet is a amazing combo for Judgment. Um, I don't, I have one. Do I have any three drops? I don't think I have any three drops. I think I just have, I have two Order Scrolls that are three drop. What do I have? I have Infiltrate and Heritage. Okay, well, I do kind of want the Rush's Powers in that. Although Storm Knight is awesome, I do have stronger creatures. I don't really need him. But I have so many 2 drops, I don't really need a 3 drop. Right? I have a lot of 2 drops. I have 1, one 2, 3. I don't have that many. Uh, No, we're going for the strong creatures. I'll take the Storm Knight. Although, Rush's Powers probably has more value than the Storm Knight. Because I have to get up to this K. Can't can't be dwelling on the lower resources. Uh, faith duty is cool. I don't know. Summons. Thought trap. A oh, roasted bean potion. Two kind of haste in the deck. Roasted bean potion is even better than blessing face too. That's awesome. Another ducal skirmisher or transposition. Probably the ducal skirmisher because we would like a fifteenth creature. So half the deck will be creatures. That's good. Along with all, might be a splash. New orders and another heritage, and there's a deck, and then there's a ducal spearman. It's actually the first time I've looked at in game. I think his new cap. I have the du I have all three ducal guys. Uh, I'll take the ducal skirmisher. Um, heritage or new orders. I might need the heritage to get more scrolls to ramp up to where I want to be. Oh, that sucks. I'm not even gonna have mono deck. I'm gonna be so close to a mono deck. 
new orders or heritage. Heritage and Ducal Spearman. Two Heritage will be good for getting up to eight resources that I need to get to play K. So I think we just want all these scrolls, right? Actually, I guess I don't have any structures, so summons is kind of pointless. So we have two things we could put. We put an Elan Vital in, which is, which is uh, no magic arm, but has regeneration one. So I could put it on my faith duty thing, and then I won't be taking any real damage. That'd be good. Um, or I can splash. Yeah, this is probably more like it. Yeah, it looks like decay. We're gonna splash. Languid is good. Wicked Being turns something to low darkling, so we could leave something on an idol. Uh, then I also kind of want to get a tethered recruit out because that will get bring my order up. Like it will be nice to ramp up. I'll grab that. And I also kind of want the uneasy alliance because that's like a champion ring if you only have one of them in the deck, especially because I have three ducal skirmishers. So I don't really need to sacrifice for decay because I have what's it called? Soldier's Bond, which is replenished, so I'll be able to play that. So I'm actually just going to take out a couple scrolls here. I don't think I'm going to need Faith Blessing. Faith Blessing is a pretty bad scroll. Uh, and now I'll take out one more. I do like these four Decay scrolls. So I think I'm going to take out one of the Order scrolls. Do I really need two Power Bounds and two Heritage? Nah, I kind of like that. Thought Trap. Thought Trap's going to go. We have Infiltrate. I think that's going to be enough for stalling. Yeah, so good. We have two five drops, a six drop, and eight drop. A lot of four drops here. We have a lot of four drops. So we're actually going to want to get to like definitely eight. Not only to play the K, so, so we can play two four drops in the same turn. So let's just call this, uh, I don't know, whatever. Order to K. Okay. So let's have our last judgment run pre release be a five hour calling it right now it's a pretty good deck so I'll be back when a match is found post commentary initiated so first match against I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name uh, starting hand I do have a one drop but don't really have somewhere to go after that so I mulligan and this is about the same power level I mean I'll have avoided the three drop because I guess that's what happens when you don't draft any 3-drop creatures. I had a chance at a Righteous Partisan, but I'm not sure what it took over. I think it took a Storm Knight that turn. But yeah, just, uh, at least I have a scroll to play on turn 3, a Heritage. And he has a pretty strong start with a 2-drop and a strong 3-drop Rod Eater. He's played a creature every turn, so I'm a bit worried. I'm not off to as strong a start as... I could be. I went second, so that's also a factor. I decided to give up my um, Ducal Infantryman because he has Heritage. I don't really mind him dying. And then a, Skull, a Soul Scrounger is almost like a fleetness, kind of. And then uh, I do get a nice top deck there, so now I can play a couple creatures this turn. He plays a Puppet Soldier. I was afraid of a Horn of Mages for a second, but luckily he did not have one of those. I play Infiltrate to stop the Rod Eater from attacking, but I actually like miscalculated there because I forgot about the Soul Scrounger, which makes an attack anyways. Yeah, so you see I mentioned that that the Infiltrate was... I mean, it's not like... It didn't really matter that much because I drew a scroll to replace it from the Infiltrate, but the Rod Eater would have attacked anyways, either way, Infiltrate or not. I play the Rose of Bean Potion to take out the Rod Eaters. That was a big uh, deciding play there, and then I have the Spiky Guy to defend against the... Um, the 2-2-2 two, 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 dude. And uh, unfortunately I have to sacrifice most of the because I want to get a honorable general out this turn. I opt to take out the Gravelock up there. Um, obviously not that strong of a creature. I could have taken out the Puppet Soldier and his unit behind it. That would have been an okay trade for me because I'm losing one scroll. He's losing two scrolls. But I think my Skirmisher is nice and valuable so I didn't make that trade. Instead I'm just continuing. I'm just continually using these turns, just keep putting stuff on the board, and he's. I'm killing his stuff more than he's killing my stuff, so that's good. And he actually plays one too many things there, so he couldn't take out my Gallant Defender, so that was kind of good for me. I'm still at six resources. Uh, I need to 
not enough to like play K or anything, but I'm still playing like one to two creatures per turn, pretty strong creatures like the four drops. So it's looking good for me. And uh, I have still more creatures in hand. I have my general going off this coming turn, so all those creatures around him will attack. And I can even play Tether Recruit this turn. Um, there is a K, which I can play soon because I'll probably get ramp from my Tethered Recruit or my Power Bound on the board. And I almost cleared the board. So he sees that he's basically lost, so he decides to surrender. That's a game one win for me, and unfortunately, he has to face me again. That kind of sucks when in Judgment, you face the same guy twice in a row. I think Mojang should... Um, make it so you can't face the same person twice in the same judgment run because you're only afforded two losses in judgment so i just so i uh so dealing somebody both losses just i, I mean it it doesn't make me to feel too good either because i kind of mess it up for him but i have a very strong start with uh all these creatures the, the cross them in although they have a high count on they have a high damage output he plays some low true drops of his own. He decides not to deal any damage to my Scholar. And I get a strong creature out there. And uh, I have two things attacking next turn. Actually, I have three things attacking. He plays a bog hand. He's a lot of creatures, but I'm going to be able to take out a couple of them this turn. Um, I think I opt to take out the Infected Gravelock and the, uh, the guy on top there, the top row. I'm um, just because both of them were attacking, whereas the lower row, only one of them was attacking. And he just surrenders right then and there. So, yeah, so it kind of sucks for him. He had to deal with me twice in a row, so that kind of ended his judgment run. Um, and I'm going second again. Not going, I'm not getting too lucky with the first turn advantage here, and it's really looking bad for me right now. Uh, Nick has really his four creatures in the board before I get one. That is not good for me. I finally get a creature out. I could have gone with the spiky dude. Um, I probably should have. I don't know. But yeah, I am worried. <laughs> I'm looking at this guy's board, and he was just so fast out of the gate into both factions, and he's still playing a low drop every single turn. Multiple creature turn. He's already taken out middle idol. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do to get back into this. Uh, I do decide to move down and take out that ripper, and I elect to keep my... Spearman up top because I don't want to lose him just to a ranged crosswoman attack. Believe it or not, I'd rather just lose my scholar because I think my specky guy will be really good defense against all his two health cre creatures besides the ranged one. And I effectively use the Storm Knight's move too at all times to uh, get him out of the way and he'll be able to run up when I need him. He plays a minor curse which takes out my spearman unfortunately. But now, since that uh, guy died, since his uh, winged soldier died from my spiky, I'm able to run up with my Storm Knight and take him out. So now, uh, it looks like I've recovered quite nicely from his really strong start. So now, uh, I'm able to just place more stuff. I've got seven resources from the Powerbound guy dying and stuff like that. And with a Ducal Imageman there, I'm able to take out both units up there so uh, save myself from another incoming attack and I make an interesting play here um, because he has Dominion activated because he took down my middle idol early on his wing spear has spiky 4 which means my uh, my storm knight will die to that but I place a soldier's bond on it so that when he dies and takes damage but the units I put down behind it count down so that means they'll attack next turn and he didn't like that play, so he surrendered. So uh, I drew uh, three surrenders already. Um, and on to match number four. Um, and I get the same creatures he does, and then I infiltrate it. And then he does like a turn that doesn't really do anything either. So we have a very similar start so far, like a mirror match. And we both play a four drop. And I have a nice curve up to the general. What I should have done here probably is run away, because I'll, I was figuring I get the extra move for my Wings Captain, so I don't need to run away, but then I forgot that the Gallant Defender is not a soldier. So by not being able to run away last turn, he's able to just take out my Gallant Defender, because he has, he has one less unit than me. 
so my god defender did not have the armor. And here I decided to keep the crossbowman in hand instead of playing it, just so I have something to sacrifice in case I draw something I don't want to sacrifice. Ended up not really mattering. He gets an Arbalester out. So, looks like we both have pretty strong order decks here. I kind of position a little weird. I want to protect myself in case he has a speed for his Arbalester and stuff like that. He plays a Righteous Partisan, um, so he's drawn some stuff. Any new orders out of the way up there. So, I remember right now I'm thinking to myself, like, for, for a second I thought it was a Horn of Ages, so I thought I wasn't going to really do much, but then I realized it was only New Orders. So then I'm like, okay, I could do a little bit of stuff. Um, that Wing Shield is kind of stopping me slightly, but I'm still able to take down a couple of those units. Fortunately, my uh, Spoomer is in the back there, but what can you do? And he plays an Infiltrate and a Reversal to take down a couple of creatures so with his Arbalester attacking, so that was a nice play by him, and my general is a massive 4 countdown now. Uh, maybe not the best play here, I just decide to roast the Beam Potion to take out the Zealot. Not a big deal, I deal some extra damage to the Arbalester. Probably not worth using uh, using that roast the Beam Potion there, especially when I have a general on the board, but whatever, I don't think it's a big deal. And I have a K in my hand, and K is... Uh, Pretty good. I play the uh, two kill mission, which takes down both of them, and now he surrenders. So I'm still not able to get the decay out, but that is win number four. So I just need to win this match, and then I have a 5 0, just like I predicted. And I go second again, unfortunately. Play the turn one crossbowman. And I have a turn two crossbowman if I want to, which I like to do is I don't top deck a uh, two kill mission, which are my two drops in this deck. So next turn, I have an, inf inf an Infiltrate, and then I can go to 4 or 5, so my curve is looking good. And I, I decided to engage him here, because he would have to play 2 units to take out my Crossman here. Um, but what he does is he Stag Heart Binding Roots, so that actually hurts him because I can't move my um, Crossman. That's why I like Binding Roots, a really nice Judgment Scroll, it's like really cheap removal. And I still try to, I'm trying to be aggressive here with my Crossman, trying to try to take him out. But uh, he, he plays down uh, things to protect himself, and I, it's really hard for me to break through. I really have to find a way to get rid of that uh, that one counter guy he has. And he plays an Earthen Mirth on it, which really breaks through my forces, and I lose a couple creatures from that, so it's really not looking pretty good for me. I do play Heritage, so in case what he kills, I might draw some extra scrolls. He takes out my Binding Rooted guy, which is not a big deal, and he is lucky he put that Brave in front, because if he didn't, I had a Blessing of Haste on that Crossman, which would have taken out his uh, Earthen Earth guy, so, yeah, I was really close to having the Brave Veteran. He gets the double enchantment on that Brave there to uh, really help clear my row, so I surrender, seeing no way out of my downfall, so now it's a 4-1 Judgment Run, so now it's a... Last, last match of the judgment run, if I lose, I end up with 4 wins, if I win, I end up with 5 wins, so my back is against the wall against Nanal Nalaka, and I get the turn 1 crossman again, so I think this match I went 2nd again, I'm sure, I think all 6 matches this run I've gone 2nd, but I think like 5 of the 6 I've had a turn 1 crossman, I'm not sure, maybe I'm completely off, but he gets a, a pretty decent start with a nice 3 drop and a nice 4 drop, sorry about those beeps guys. I'm sure you guys think it's your computer BP and then you're frantically looking what happened. I hate it when that happens. And now when you're watching like a video and something like that happens. But I play I play Heritage on my Crossman, so I get some extra card draw from sacrificing him. So I'm happy with that play. And I play some more units. So I am kind of liking my position. I have control of the center of the board. And uh, he's kind of delegated to the bottom. But here he plays a Horn of Ages and stops uh, my... Stops my uh, skirmisher from attacking for a while, so that kind of hurts me because he has his skirmisher attacking the next turn, so he can move up. I do play a strong storm runner for the future. If I, can, I might be able to plus him haste the next turn and do all that stuff, and he makes sure he has one less creature than I, so he can take out my gallant defender. So nice playing him. At least it. At least the Gaunt Defender prevented him from playing another creature that turn, but he does play a Faith Duty, which kind of ruins my Blessing of Haste plan, because now my guy doesn't have enough counter, but I counter with a Blessing of Haste of my own to take out his Faith Duty guy. So, um, his Faith Duty guy did make me waste one of my Blessing of Haste, or my only Blessing of Haste. I have Rose Beam Potion too. 
and uh, here I decided to pitch the purification for scrolls and um, I don't really have anything to take care of that Dougal, Dougal Skirmisher he has. I don't really have displacement spells like flips, pothers, transpositions, um, uh, reversals. Because he has a, an effective reversal there to take out my Skirmisher. So um, if I had some displacement spells, like, I think it would go a long way. I did have an option for a transposition before. But I mean that's not the decision that would really help. Because I do have Rose Bean Potions and a Wings Captain for extra move. And my Stormrider is extra move by, by default. But here, he positions in a, such a way that I can actually pretty easily take down a bunch of his creatures, so I'm pretty happy about this turn. And I also get down Heritage and a Power Bound, so whatever he kills in the front row, I'll get some kind of benefit towards it. I don't put both of the uh, enchantments on the same creature, because he can... Actually, I take that back. I was going to say that the sorceress, sorceress of his could take away both enchantments, but she can't. She can only take away one enchantment with her effect, the, only the last one on top of it. So, my bad there. Um, yeah, you see again, my, somehow my Spearman's getting stuck in the back row. This time it was from a reversal. But uh, here, I'm trying to position. Um, I end up using the move 2 and trying to only keep my guys in front that have spiky or have heritage on them. So I like how I position there. And use a focus to not quite take out my, uh, my Night Scholar, so I'm fine with that. And we're trying to see how I can do this. I have seven resources now, so I can start making some bigger plays. Um, unfortunately, his Gallant Defender looks like it will have uh, armor too if I play at least one unit. So I'm afraid I actually can't even play any use this turn. I was, I was thinking over if I could use a uh, Rosa's Bean Potion to clear to kill that Skirmisher too, and I ended up not being able to. So that's unfortunate. So I really don't have much to do in that turn, um, but I do take out the Gallant Defender. You see, this match is a lot about the number of units in the field because he has Righteous Partisans, Gallant Defenders, I have Gallant Defenders, so it's a big swing. You almost want less units so you get the strong effects from your uh, from your conditional units like those. So I position about, I'm able to take out the Storm Knight, but he's a lot of stuff attacking this turn, so I'm hoping I can somehow not lose all my stuff. If you use a reversal, but it isn't really that effective because the ranged unit and the... Uh, and the armor on the wing shield would have taken out the spiky guy just fine anyways. He ends up playing a Machinated and then a uh, Horn of Ages. So the Machinated doesn't really, it doesn't even kill my uh, Skirmisher, but it does, it does kill my Honorable General. I kind of use protection. And I can't really move, but I, the Storm Knight does have move too, so he can move down. And then I use a Roasted Bean Potion to give my Skirmisher an attack this turn, so I can take out the machinated skirmisher which did have like four counts on so it wasn't an immediate threat but i decided to take him out there and there i won all right guys i predicted the five wins but i did get one loss mixed in but it doesn't matter for judgment that's good about judgment you can afford one loss and you'll still have the same reward um as if you lost no times so 2500 gold and six scrolls uh i don't really care what i take here because i have a full set and I'm too lazy to go into my collection to see what scrolls I need more of to get more tier threes. But I'll just take whatever because I know I need more of everything to get tier threes. Actually, I think I might have tier three, tier three ducal skirmishers. So I'll take at least like a newer scroll like Storm Knight. All right, another common. Um, sure, I'll take the wing charger. Uh, uncommon. What's uncommon here? I don't have many scrolls like that are great to take. I guess I could take a blessing of haste. Uh, all right, rares. I have some. I have a couple of nice rares. Roasted bean potion is a nice rare. Um, I know that goes for almost a thousand gold in the black market. Now I have a K. I have a wings captain, a knight scholar, and a general. I guess I'll take the K. I never got to play the K once. I was close to playing it in the last game and the first game, though. What was that? I played six matches. Okay, and Night Scholar. All right. So it's a nice judgment run. Collect my gold, and the rich get richer. 
So that'd be it for today, guys. Thanks for thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you tomorrow.